So today I'm talking about a P0600 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0600 code? Well, it's a serial communication link malfunction. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have a lot of computers built into them. They could have an engine control module. They could have a powertrain control module. They could have a transmission control module, an anti-lock brake system control module, and so on and so on. And basically each one of these control modules is going to be doing a different thing. They're going to be controlling different things. And there can be differences between vehicles on what control modules there is and how many there is and even how they're named and things like this. So be sure to keep that in mind. But for example, say your vehicle has an engine control module or an ECM. Well, the ECM is going to be controlling all the engine functions. So this would be things like the injectors or the timing of the engine and things like this. And there also could be an ABS control module, and that would be controlling other functions like the wheel speed sensors and things like this. And all these control modules, they all need to communicate with each other. And the way they do that is through what they call a CAN bus. There can be other types of buses, but this CAN bus is very common. And basically all the CAN bus is, is it's all the wires that run between all the computer control modules, along with right where they plug in and the protocol that they use. You could kind of think of the CAN bus like ethernet that's run throughout a home from a router to a computer all around a house or a building or something like that. So all the computers can talk to each other. Well, that's basically what a CAN bus is. But when you get this P0600 code, the main computer, the engine control module or the powertrain control module or whatever your vehicle has is detecting that one or more of these computer modules that they're not communicating for some reason, that there's some kind of issue going on there. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this code is that sometimes it can be difficult to troubleshoot. There is some basic things to go and check. So it might be something easy. But sometimes this can involve troubleshooting the computers and the wiring going in between them all and things like this. So basically, keep in mind that sometimes this code can be hard to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0600 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of problem going on with the power source going to these computer modules. Basically, all these different computers built into vehicles, they all need a good, stable power supply, or that can throw them off and just cause them to have problems and things like this. So the first thing to go and do is check your battery, be sure it's good. And be sure there's no corrosion on these terminals or anything like this. And if there is, it's a good idea to clean them up and be sure they're making good contact. Because if the battery's bad or if there's a lot of corrosion on the cables and they're not making good contact, then those computer modules are not going to be able to get a good power source. So first thing to do is be sure that's good. If the battery and battery terminals are good, then it's a good idea to check the alternator output and be sure that that's good. If you have a multimeter, you can go check what the alternator output is. And basically to do this, you check what the voltage is at the battery. So you just go check what the battery voltage is. And with the engine off, that should be like 12.20, 12.50, 12.70 volts, something like that. And then you start up the engine and you check to see what the voltage is at the battery terminals. And that should roughly be between 13 and and 14 and volts. You can look up what your alternator rated output is supposed to be and then see if it's correct. But usually if the output's like 13 and to 14 and volts, then usually that means it's good. Some newer vehicles now, they have what's called a smart alternator, which can vary the voltage more than this. So if your car does have a smart alternator, you might want to look up what the rated output is supposed to be. But by far, usually if there's 13.5 to 14.5 volts, then it means the alternator is good. Some vehicles also have a battery sensor, and if that goes bad, that can cause problems. So be sure to keep that in mind. But basically, the first things to go and check is be sure the battery's charged good, the terminals all look good, and that the alternator is charging correctly. And the next thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. Basically, it's just a good idea to go check any computer-related fuses. So this would be anything labeled like ECM, PCM, ECU, TCM, ABS, anything that might be computer-related with your particular vehicle. It's a good idea to go check all those fuses and be sure that they're good because the next thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of problem with the wiring going around between all these computer modules. And so this would be something like an open, a short, there's a bad connection in there somewhere, something like this. This is where it could kind of get tricky to try to troubleshoot. But basically, if there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go around and check out that wiring and check to see if you see anything physically wrong with it. Sometimes rodents can get in there and chew on wires and things like this. You can also go through and check all your connections and be sure they look like they're pushed in good and things along these lines. If that all looks good, then you can go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and go through and check all the wiring to check to see if there is any problem because the next thing that's gonna cause this is that there's some kind of problem in the wiring harness going around to all the different computer control modules. And the last thing on the list is gonna be that one of these computer modules has failed, that it's gone bad and that there's some kind of problem with it. 
And this could be any of the computer modules that's inside the vehicle. So this could be an engine control module. This could be the powertrain control module. This could be the transmission control module. It could be the ABS control module. But basically one of the computer modules is having some kind of problem and it's not communicating correctly. Sometimes when that happens, you'll get a lot of other codes that are related to that computer module. So for example, say the ABS module has gone bad, which is the anti-lock braking system. When that goes bad, quite often it'll give off a lot of codes for things that it's controlling. So for example, if you're getting this P0600 code, and then you're getting a whole lot of wheel speed sensor codes all at the same time, then that could point to a bad ABS module or some kind of issue going on there. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. Another thing that happens with these computer modules sometimes is that they get actual burnt components on the board. Not all the time, these modules can fail and there's no burnt components or nothing like that. But this does happen sometimes. So if you go around one of those computer control modules and you smell like a burnt smell inside of it, then that could point to a problem with that computer control module that it is having some kind of problem. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0600 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.